What is your creative process when you're making a new set? Uh, well, when I start off trying to do the new set, I like to uh, meet with the director, find out what his, vision, his or her vision is, and where she want, they want to go. Sometimes they're very uh, true to the script and what the script is saying. Other times they want to set it in a completely different location or they want something to be very dark versus very playful and things like that. So I try to find out what that vision is first. Then I put together my ideas of what I'm, I think should happen. Then I meet with the director again and show them what I've come up with. And then it's just a collaborative process from that point. Yeah, that, I like that, I don't like that, can we do this, can we do that, and it's back and forth. And that's how we come up with that. What, what um, image do you have planned for Urinetown in particular? Well, Urinetown is uh, it's a, all a fictional place. It's not a real city like some other place. Uh, and so, we left it uh, pretty open as far as what it's going to look like. It's going to be kind of dark. It is kind of a it's it's a fun show. It's a funny show, but it's it's also kind of a dark theme. You know, it's not not a, a love story in a certain sense. And so the basic set is going to be very dark, a lot of levels, somewhat cross between industrial and back alley type thing. And then we're going to contrast that with the uh, You're in Good Company office, yeah. which is going to be brighter and, and a little bit more. It's, it's going to be very sleek, modern, but clean and, and not, not back alley looking at all. Awesome. Two more. Okay. How are the Dean students? Involved in your creation of sets. You want the truth? Or not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, the, t the students are really quite good. They're learning. Some of them have had some experience. Uh, others uh, are coming in pretty green. And it's a matter of uh, you know finding strengths and, and things like that and working with them to get them to, to do the job and learn how to do the job. Uh, I know both Jim, the technical director, and I, we, if a student shies away from doing something, like using a chop saw or a drill or something like that, we take the time, we force them to do it. We, we, we say, you know, the first person I will pick, if I say, who wants to volunteer to do this, and the first person that kind of ducks and hides behind somebody else is the person I pick. <laughs> and but I'm careful about showing them how to use the equipment safely and carefully and, and so they don't uh, hurt themselves or anybody else. Uh, and what's funny about that is usually the person who is the most afraid, after they learn how to use it and have had some practice with it, they're the ones that always jump to wanting to use it afterwards. So it, it's a good learning experience for them. What do you think, like, what are your expectations for the show? Like every show, like my biggest ones, I try to make it hard, just to make it our production. Um, you know, last year, did some work on Much Do, and that was that was our production of Much Do About Nothing. This year, this year it's your intent, and I want to, I try to stay away from stuff that people have done before, try to make make it so the students own it and I own it. Uh, we want your intent to be our version of your intent, nothing like nobody else's version. Uh, so that's sort of cool because we have some real obvious advantages here at We've got incredible movers, uh, we have wonderful actors, we have some great singers. So, so you just combine that together and it's a, with a really zany story and you can have a very fun night. The show is going to be like a world coaster. It's going to be that kind of, it is, it's, it's totally, I said whacked earlier, but that's really the best term I can think of. And what, the actors and the singers, what, what do you think they're going to get out of being in your production here? I think hopefully they're going to come away with an experience that they're not going to get any better in place else. They're going to be in a show that they are totally best in. Uh, you can take, the, I don't take the most smallest support role, but they are, they're carrying a story. They all have this huge backstory, so they're all really part of this world. 
And I think it's one of the, probably the biggest differences. Yeah, it's almost a Dean College difference if you think about it. Yeah. Is that there's we care about everybody, so that it's a, it kind of comes across in the shows too. There's really a real, genuine um, care that's happening in the stuff that's being produced, uh, and that I think helps with the level of uh, professionalism. We bring everybody up to a real high bar, uh, and they always usually make it up to that. Which is fine. You're right. I, I felt the same way when I got to work with you. I, I, had, I got that sense of family, and it's important. It is well, it's huge, and it's also if you care about your art, you care about your craft, uh, you're going you're gonna to do good work. Uh, and we have a lot of very talented people around me. And when you're around that, and you, you know, even if you're coming in and you like yourself, who came in and was not. You just became, we suck you right in. <laughs> All of a sudden, you become a part, part of our family. And that's sort of a cool thing, because that's not, it's sort of a life thing. It's not something that you let go of. You're gonna, we're hopefully going to talk about shows like this for the rest of our life. That's great. Last question, Jim. Yes. What is it about your in town that people should come and see the show? If you want to laugh so hard that your cheeks are going to hurt, <laughs> that, that's when you should come see your in town. Without a doubt, you're going to stand there and the movement's going to be crazy fun. 